Welcome to the memory hole, ladies and gentlemen. This is a report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about that, the lay phenomena of memory holding that's happening all over the internet at the moment. Talk, stick around and listen. Thank you. Yes, memory holding, ladies and gentlemen. Um, recently, the uh, Victorian government, uh, surprise, surprise, the most totalitarian government in Australia, uh, passed, uh, maybe it was passed all over Australia, but uh, I know the Victorian police can actually now get inside uh, people's Facebook accounts and basically delete messages that they don't like or that might be have something to do with a protest. I think that's mainly what they're focusing on, trying to find out when these protests are and deleting anything that might promote that because obviously this kind of thing has gone viral. I've never promoted any of these protests because, well, look, I don't want to go into why. I haven't done it, but I just don't think it's the right thing to do at this particular juncture. Um, I have no problem, though, with people who do protest, and I totally understand why they are. Um, but uh, you see that happening, and I mean, I've noticed that even on my own page, I've made comments on... I mean, I don't know whether this is staff at The Age who are deleting it. I often troll The Age and the ABC, and you see comments disappearing all the time, but I've noticed that it happened on, on friends' pages. I've made a comment, and I come back, uh, and it's just gone. I mean, you know, it's like gone. So, I mean, you know, this is another thing that's totally out of 1984. And that are we just going to accept that now? I mean, basically, we, we are just sharing our opinions about what is going on. We're doing it from the safety of our homes. We're in quarantine, or in, sorry, whatever it is, home... Uh, whatever the fuck's going on at the moment, house arrest, basically. Um, so, you know, uh, as far as I know, we still had free speech. And why are our comments being deleted all over Facebook? I mean, really, it's extraordinary. I mean, Jordan Peterson made this fascinating comment. He said, um, what is more dangerous, a virus that kills, you know, whatever it is, point whatever, point zero six percent of people or the kind of embrace of totalitarianism and and the police state that we've seen over the COVID crisis he said clearly the most dangerous thing is this embrace of totalitarianism and the police state and this is absolutely it's like you know the cure is worse than the disease and I think you know of course it's deliberate ladies and gentlemen it's deliberate again this is why it's play planned this event this is why it's um an agenda and it really is uh, incredibly disturbing. So, you know, I just wanted to point out that memory holding, you know, I mean, you know, obviously memory holding is also happening on the internet. There'll be articles, you know, that you used to find in relation to uh, conspiracy thinking, what I call free thinking, um, that just vanish. I mean, Alex Jones was pretty much memory hold. I mean, it's very hard to find his, if you just search his name, it's hard to even find his website. Obviously, we, most of us know the address, so you can go directly there. But, you know, they just ban and, and, and um, shadow ban things. I mean, I've even had, had it happen to this very uh, report from Tiger Mountain. This, this report, it, it, it's, it's not incredibly um, popular. It's not, like, incredibly viral or something like, say, Paul Joseph Watson or whatever. But even, you know, just at the level of uh, reach of this podcast itself, the report from Tiger Mountain, it's being memory hold. If you just Google report from Tiger Mountain, you get a lot of other things that clearly, I mean, I've done nearly 150 of these podcasts now. There should be 150 links to re report from Tiger Mountain. But no, you get maybe one or two slip through. There's one, I don't know, that they, they, they allow you to have access to. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's extraordinary, the level of censorship um, that's going on in the level of, of surveillance and the level of um, uh, totalitarian overreach, all for a disease that 99.96% of us survive without a vaccine. Um, you know, so it's really, it's, you know, that's why I definitely think something else is going on and why it's deeply suspicious. And again, it comes straight out of the 1984 playbook, which is why we should reject it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening. This is a report from Tiger Mountain on a kind of mild day in the middle of lockdown, two months into lockdown, probably with another month or two to go. Yep. Welcome to Victoria, ladies and gentlemen.